order to be a great defensive back, you have to understand your own defense. As much as talent and everything else comes into play, if you know where you have help, you know what to focus on, and you know where the ball is going every play, then you have a chance to make a play on the ball every time. So in this example, Snee here, he's man on man with Chase, one of the best, fastest receivers in the league this year. He understands that he has high inside help because they're playing with a high safety over top. Chiefs starting to cover two look. Tyron Matthew moves up. Everyone's in man or are blitzing. So he has high inside help, which means if he has help up here, where should he defend? And I'd say low to the outside. He's patient at the line because he knows that he's either going to deny the outside release. If Chase steps to the outside, then Sneed, you can see here his first step to the outside. He knows what he's doing. He has a plan. If Chase steps to the outside, he's going to get hands on and be physical. But Chase goes to the inside, so Sneed is patient. He funnels Chase to the inside, gets a hand on, but it's the wrong hand. You want to go with your opposite hand for the side you're opening up to, so you don't lock your hips. You can fluently turn your arm, keep running. That's all right though, because he's playing a patient. He's playing it patient anyways. Gets that hand on, and he's ready to funnel Chase into the safety, or to sit on that outside hip and run the route for him. Now he gets away with a little tug here, but he gets away because he's tugging near the hip. If you're ever tugging, that's rule number one. Tug at the hip. If you're on the shoulder, if you have your hand up there, that's when it gets called. Refs see that very easily, especially because the jersey gets pulled, it's just obvious to see. Now other tip here, Chase is inside the numbers. The field is just over 50 yards wide. So if the receiver's lining up inside the numbers, you can expect that he's gonna break back outside. He's opening up that space. Now it's not 100% of the time, but it's something, it's a good rule of thumb. If Snead did not understand his defense and did not play the route like this, say he was high off and pedaling from the inside, then Chase would be open on this route and there's nobody on the outside to help. But he understands that he has high help inside. He understands the route's probably breaking out so he stays, plays the outside shoulder, stays patient, runs the route for Chase, stands on the outside, and then looks back, picks the ball off, and makes a great play. You have to understand your defense. And then, when you get more advanced with it, you can throw some deception in there and mix it up to the receiver. You could start off, creep up, start on the inside shade, move out, and just really toy around with the receiver. Because he has a plan, the same way you have a plan. Snee knew he was going to play it like this chase probably had an idea for what route he was going to run now if at the last second sneed bails off that messes up the receiver's mind and they don't know what to do